Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go through some news from Fortnite Battle Royale, where members of Epic Games design team recently sat down with Rolling Stone magazine for a discussion regarding the state of the game, the impending map update and plans for the future. For those who want to read the full article, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's quite a fascinating piece, giving a great insight as to the inner workings of Epic Games and their Fortnite world. So let's get into it. The new map update is due any day this week, and the article goes into some depth as to what the new map will bring to the players. First up, the game engine is getting a tweak to load up the areas around you firstly as you progress through the playing fields, which is all really to do with the processing power for the game, and frees up the team to do more things with the game itself. Sidney Rochberger, the game's lead level designer, states that they were happy with the initial map, but have always wanted to increase the density and points of interest on the west side, including adding the most requested addition of a city. The new areas fill in the map's western points, with tilted towers adding a vertical experience and the shifty shafts adding dark corridors under the map, undoubtedly making for some tense moments. The biggest cosmetics addition to the game is four new biomes being added to the map. David Spilinski, lead level designer, states, We wanted to refresh the existing areas and bring more identity to the square footage of sections of the map. Where once the entire map was essentially in a grass biome, it is now broken up into grass, farmland, mountain and swamp biomes. We wanted to accomplish bringing a little more visual difference identity to where you are, variety and theme to various areas. So you can identify if you're in the mountains now on the west of the map. In the new map the mountains run along the west, the farmland along the north, the marshes in the southeast and the grass in much of the centre. He goes on to say that more tweaks have been added to the game, like the game flow of running through buildings, added chests and ammo spawns, as well as building tweaks. He further adds that they are not working on a second map at this time as the team feel that they can still improve upon the current map as they are consistently listening to feedback in this area. There are still plans to add and or rotate the limited time modes too which we have seen already recently. They are also looking at future weapon additions stating that the requirement a weapon needs to be included is for it to be fun and good for gameplay. Much to a few players' dismay, they are not adding any vehicles yet to the game, as they feel that the rocket riding, launch pad and general point-to-point -point play is more than enough to get around most points in the map in a game. To finish it off, they state that they look at things working well in the save the world mode that may work in Battle Royale, so it's safe to say that we are going to see plenty more additions to this addictively fun game further down the line. So there you go guys, just a quick rundown of the article on Fortnite. There's no date yet for the update, but expect it in the next few days. I've got plans to cover it on the channel on its release, so stay tuned for that. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to my channel for more future content. Find me on Twitch and also follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, cheers.